Today I'm gonna do a disassembly of a thousand euro battery pack. As you can see from the case, this is very similar to the Panasonic system, the old Panasonic system. Uh, this is another version, it's a lot bigger case. It um, The case is compatible with the 24 volt system, but this is actually a 36 volt battery for um, I think it's from, uh, from Switzerland, it's from the brand Flyer, I believe this was manufactured by Sanyo, but maybe with Panasonic cells. And there are so many odd things about this, in this version in particular, you can see the indicator here is lighting up perfectly, it says it's fully charged. So that would be like 42 volts, right? Let's see if we can see that, yeah. I'm gonna check the two terminals here. What? 6.6 .6 volts. How the fuck can this one still work? And giving it, it's like full voltage man, no problem. And these are the connections that go directly from the battery cell. So we, and there was no problem running the bike with this battery, but it wouldn't charge, which is um, not at all that kind of strange because the cells are dead or dying. Since this is such an expensive battery, this might be the only chance I get to do a video of a disassembly of this. And here you can see some plastic from this transparent bag they put all the batteries in to make them, uh, you know, like water resistant. And here you have, have this ridiculous amount of silicone. It's not like a little bit. Now we're gonna drench the whole motherfucking shit in silicone. You see, all this is silicone. And all this is silicone. Like they just drop the batteries down in a big silicone tank and let it dry. And this makes it almost impossible to repair. Because removing all this, even if they weren't silicone, I usually don't work with these kind of batteries because they're so time consuming. Actually kind of a nice fuse holder. But how are you supposed to replace that? It's not like some kind of standardized fuse and there's like no one in the world that actually open up battery packs and replace fuses. Bosch doesn't do that, no one does that. So, all I offer you is a knife. Okay, so this isn't even possible to replace. What kind of idiotic fuse is this? It's drenched so hard in the silicone, you can't remove it without damaging it. Giant also uses these battery packs made by Sanyo. And they are a lot easier to work with. They don't drench it in silicone like this. And here you have a temp, a temp sensor. Like in the cell silicone. It's like, oh. Super tiny. Uh, not that much. Do you have another temp sensor? These I haven't seen before, they use another kind. And there you have the actual battery pack drenched in silicone and there is so much. Oh, here you can actually see some hints. I can identify it directly as Panasonic cells. I think they are BD, but I'm not sure. But these gray ones are usually BD. Be able to remove any of these cells from the pack. I removed all the nickel strips, I unscrewed four screws, but there is so much silicone stuck between the cells and this plastic holder, so I'm kind of calling it a day. But however, here you could actually see the brand name, and it's the Panasonic BD cell.